Hi everyone. How are you today? Oh, that's good. I'm fine as well. Thank you. So, today we are going to have a very important topic. But before that, let's have a short review. Okay? I will check your understanding of our previous lessons. So, we are going to talk about noun and verb. Sorry. Okay. Verb. So, noun in Japanese, it's meishi. And this one is verb, doshi. Okay. So, sometimes we make a noun from a verb or we make a verb from a noun. <laughs> They're the same. Okay. So, let's start with the noun. Or, how about I'd say, I have here a word, this one. Can you read this? Okay, nice try. It's knowledge, okay? Knowledge, very good. So, is it a verb or a noun? Yes, it's a noun, very good. Yes. And what is the verb for that? Yes, this is the verb. No. And okay. Na. So na. This one is no. So it's like knowledge. Okay. This no. Okay. I know. <laughs> okay, great. So let's have the second or the third word. Okay, this one. Receive. Okay, can you repeat? Receive. Very good. Okay, is it a noun or a verb? Of course, it's a verb. Very good. Okay, so we're gonna put it here. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay. It doesn't have anything. So, I'm sorry. So, let's do... I'm gonna put it here. It's verb. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, could you please read that again? Very good. Receive. Okay. And let's have... The noun for that. What is the noun of receive? Mm. Okay. Great. Okay, actually, it's this. Recipient. Yes. Please remember this. So, if I write a letter to you so I am the sender and you are the receiver or recipient yeah so it's also receiver but okay we usually use recipient for males okay but you can say receiver it's okay mm. thank you for that and now let's have the next word so i have here you know it okay it's build yes please say it again build very good so it is is it a noun or is it a verb yes it's a verb very good so it's here we're gonna put it there and what is the noun for that yeah the noun is 
Mm, nice try. But actually, yeah, it's just you add three letters. I-N-G. It becomes a noun. So it's building. Okay. Yes, building. Very good. Did it. Yes. Okay, it's a noun. So, sometimes to make a noun from a verb, we just add some letters or a letter. So, for example, this. We add the letters I, N, and G. Or I, N, G. And I have the last two words here. How do you read this? Yeah, good. Create or actually it's create. Okay, create. Very good. So, is it a verb or a noun? Yes, it's a verb, of course. Create or make. Okay. And we're going to put it here. And of course, the noun is... Mm, it's creation. This. Can you read that again? Creation. Yes, very good. Okay, let's have here. So we have here uh, four words. Okay, so... Can you read it again? No. Knowledge. Very good. Receive. Recipient. Okay. Recipient or receiver. Okay. Build. Building. Great. Create. Creation. Yes, very good. Okay, so why do we discuss this today? It's because they are important, right? It's important to know what is noun and what is verb in order to make a sentence or a good or a correct sentence. So today the other parts of a sentence okay we have um, important rules in making a sentence actually oops so in creating a sentence basically we have subject and verb yes that's right so what is subject okay you know it it's like the main topic of the sentence yes so subject okay a subject is usually a noun or it's a group of words with a noun or nouns and some other words in it okay so that's why today we're gonna talk about this can you read it oh I'm sorry I'm gonna have it here what is that can you read that yeah it's new to you so we say subject verb agreement yes subject verb agreement so there should be hyphen this one subject slash verb agreement it means relationship between these okay relationship between the subject and the verb okay when you say agreement 
it means the two of them must uh, must be uh, correctly paired or we can say uh, the verb agrees with the subject okay agrees it means we must use a proper verb for a specific subject okay proper verb so if you make a different or if you use a wrong verb then your sentence is wrong okay so very important it's very important in communication so I hope you will listen to me so we have some rules okay we have some rules for subject verb and agree agreement so it means how should we make or how should we pair them together okay we have first of all okay we have many rules but we have the general rule okay it means the main rule okay the top rule and here it is okay i don't have a tape behind but before that please read great okay i would say basic rule okay basic as i said the main rule okay main rule the most important so this is it please read okay okay please repeat after me a singular subject takes a singular verb whereas a plural subject takes a plural verb yeah is it difficult sentence of course it's not it's simple okay takes we have the verb takes singular subject takes a singular verb it means if the subject is singular okay the subject is singular the verb should also be singular and there's a continuation whereas a plural subject takes a plural verb so yeah if the subject is plural then our verb is also plural do you understand that's good okay this is the main rule okay but before that let's have a very important very important reminder you must know okay because some people don't realize it remember for nouns okay Macy for Macy example apple apple is only one okay so it's singular apples it means maybe two okay more than one okay two three yeah countless it's plural okay plural but in japanese you don't say plural okay there's no plural in japanese you just say like okay if you say one apple you have to say how many okay you really have to say one apple if i say i have two apples okay so if i say two apples it's plural but in japanese 
uh, sorry, in English, it's okay not to say the number. You just say, I have apples. It means, I don't have only one, but I have more than one. Is it clear? Great. But in Japanese, no plural. So if I say more than one, I should say, for example, I have two apples. Okay? So we say, uh, bingo, that's it. Okay. But in English, it's okay without number because we have plural. Okay, is it clear? Great. Okay. I hope you remember that. And that's for noun. Okay? It's for nouns. Okay, how about for verbs? So, in changing singular to plural for verbs, it's different from noun. Hantai. Mm. Hantai. Okay. For verbs, we have, for example, okay, go. Okay. Go is plural, but it doesn't end with S or ES. For noun, apples, it ends with S if it's plural. But here, go, it's opposite. Opposite, hantai. It doesn't end with S. It's plural. And goes is singular. Yeah, so. And yeah, how do we use it? First of all, do you understand? That's great. So, you must really know that this is singular. This is plural. Okay. I have to say that again and again. Okay, great. So, th that's the example. Uh, sorry, not a, an example, but it's a review. And this is the rule that we are going to talk about. The general rule. Okay. So, for general rule, actually, I have here an example. Mm -hmm. So, here... I only have one example. Okay. Can you read? My brother plays tennis very well. Okay. So what is the subject? Of course. Yes, very good. So the subject is my brother. Or you can just say brother, okay? Complete subject. If I say complete subject, so including this, or main subject, brother. So, brother, is it singular or is it plural? Yes. It's, I only have one brother. I'm, I'm talking about my the only one brother okay this one singular so the verb is also singular so here singular doesn't end with s for noun for verb the singular ends with s okay do you completely understand now that's good thank you so the verb is place not play because play is plural okay do you have any questions oh that's great so let's have more examples or let's have an exercise okay answer and so I I have two items here okay okay number one please read okay Anna okay 
you have to choose you have options okay options so you choose make or makes all right so then cake every sunday so what is the correct verb here it's very easy okay i'm gonna show you again the example sentence okay okay so is it okay now great so what is the answer here then yes very good makes of course makes because anna the subject is how many subjects are there yes only one subject anna one person only so the verb should be singular too makes okay it's singular because it's a verb so yes very good let's have number two okay number two is mm, it's quite different okay can you read number two okay that's number two and that's number one so number two please read maria maria so it's english name or no not it's international name maria and rob rob is international name of course okay maria and rob okay we have here the verb you choose like likes soccer <laughs> yeah everybody loves soccer here in this room okay so again maria and rob like likes soccer very good okay so what is the subject here mm. no um yeah but not only maria also rob so complete subject maria and rob okay so how many are there how many people are there one two right so the subject is more than one plural yes very good it's plural subject maria and rob therefore what should be our verb like likes okay likes is singular remember it's it ends with s so the the answer is this like yes very good okay these two two uh, sentences are just uh, an exer exercise for you to understand this rule okay please remember this general rule okay so do you have any questions for these two sentences here hmm. yep okay we will have more examples later they're just simple examples yeah so of course we will have longer sentences or longer examples later so do you have any questions is everything clear about subject verb singular plural great i'm glad to hear that don't worry because we will always review before the next lesson 
And okay, let's go back here. So the basic rules. Okay. So please write these in your note. And I have a suggestion. Uh, you write this and on, on a huge paper like this and you put it on the wall of your room okay and you can have you can copy these examples very important <laughs> okay so let's talk more about uh, the other words the other uh, we have mm, the most important rule okay but before that let's have more examples okay so i have here sentences okay so this is the instruction direction okay please read choose the correct verb okay correct verb so choose okay so we have here number one okay please read the people is are having a party okay the people is are having a party okay so what is the correct verb here yes it's easy of course are why because the subject okay this is a subject people is many more than one okay plural it's plural okay great okay wait, let's have the second one Please read. My parents visit visits. Oh, sorry. Visits with us. Me. Okay. So my parents visit visits me. Okay. What is the subject? Okay. The subject is my parents okay complete subject or so main subject is parents is it singular or is it plural yes of course it's plural okay so the verb is visit it's visit visit so no s because it's plural verb okay plural okay great so do you have any questions good so let's have last exercises okay number three please read John listen listens to his favorite music okay. favorite good again favorite music okay favorite music very good so he likes that music so, uh, Ichiban Ski des. Okay, so what is the subject? 
of course the subject is John okay is it singular or is it plural yes it's singular so the verb is mm, listens okay great so now let's have number four the cat drink drinks milk from a dish okay again the cat drink drinks milk from a dish so the subject is 